Let's see. X dash X Y D Q. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie Daisy. Anyway, welcome to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This is one of the best games of all time. One well, of my favorite games of all time. Um, there are a million bajillion playthroughs of this game on uh on YouTube, so I figured I'd do things a little bit differently, do a luck mode playthrough, uh, and maybe try to do some of the, the tricks and strategies that I know uh, about this game. That's my plan. Oh shit, I was supposed to have 40? I don't even remember at this point. Wow, that is like literally the worst place he could spawn. Come on, bro. Whoa, he's big now! Don't care. That was much better <laughs> than the... Oh wait, I'm sorry. That was definitely totally the only time that uh, that's happened. In this game. Uh, if you don't know what luck mode is, it's a special name that you have as your file name. It gives you the lowest stats possible. Um... It gives you the lowest stats possible with maximum luck and a lapis lazuli to increase your luck even further. So hopefully we can collect some of the cool items here. Can't believe it. People only watch me when I play Sonic games. How dare they? But you don't want to watch me play a, a game that you love mediocrely? Come on. My M.O. Yep, exactly like from Minecraft. Just like Minecraft. Honestly, can't believe that uh, that this game uh, stole so much from Minecraft. Oh, look at that. We're grabbing some uh, cobblestone. Whoops, whatever. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to save the state again, but I'm actually going to save it properly this time. And so what I'm trying to do here is the big toss, which is like the old method of um, uh, skipping death here and losing all of our super good equipment. Um, if you take damage with Alucard, that's more than half his HP. That was all of his HP. I don't want all of his HP. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep the necklace of the J equipped and see if that keeps us alive. What? That was a big toss. What do you, what? That was more than half his HP. Maybe it's more than half the maximum HP. Let me try one more time here. So 25 needs to do 16. I think that one did 12. So... I think I had eight defense last time. This might work. Wait, no, I need less defense. Um, three? Oh shit, I did it, but it's the wrong way. Okay, what's equipped here? The Alucard shield only. Okay, I can work with that. So what I'm trying to do is, so I need to keep that equipped. I'm trying to get a big toss to send me through the next room, which is going to skip the cutscene that takes away all my equipment. And that was almost it. I almost got it. Let me try it off of the uh, last thing. Yeah, the old school death skip, of course. Uh, because I don't know how to do reverse shift line because I'm not speed running this game. Oh shit, it does 17 HP. Okay, I can't take damage. Last time I played- Whoa! Just went full screen, didn't want it to do that. Okay, cool. Alright, this is the one, I'm feeling it. Get rid of that, 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 that. God damn it! <laughs> this is- this is not hard. This is not hard at all. Alright. 
One, two, three, four. That's it right there. Let's go. Okay. So, oh, we can't pause right now. The game's in a weird state where it thinks I'm in the death cutscene, but I'm not actually in the death cutscene. So as long as I don't fall down this hole, which I didn't, uh, and I just got to kill this guy. When we make it to the save room that's right up here. And we're good. It's not very hard at all uh, to do it that way. You have to be in luck mode, though, because Alucard doesn't take enough damage with his uh, normal base stats. Oh, uh, the speedrun does a move called reverse shift line, which, like, makes it to where uh, you offset the screen. So when it scrolls, it uh, scrolls in a very weird way. But that's probably, like, the only, like, glitch I'm gonna do, uh, during this playthrough of Symphony of the Night. Uh, now I'm just gonna kind of have fun, because we have the best equipment in the game, and I'm just gonna try to shred stuff and do things as fun as possible. I'm gonna try to do, like, not as a speedrun, but the speedrun category of, uh, all bosses, all relics, save Richter. Uh, because I don't want to do 100% map completion, because that's super lame. And I'm just gonna collect stuff that I know and, and all that. Yeah, Death Skip's really fun. Uh, it's... I think that particular one is... Xbox 360 and PS3 exclusive. I know that the reverse shift line is Xbox 360 and PS... Sorry, PS1 exclusive. Funky sound effects? Uh, that may be Twitch. I don't know, have you ever seen this game before? For somebody who's played this game before, does the audio sound weird? Audio is good? Alright, cool. Thank you. Oh well, yeah, with the... Uh, or any game from the series? Oh, uh, I definitely recommend doing yourself a service and checking out at least the, uh... The Metroidvanias in the series, they're really good. This is the only one I've played. I haven't played the GBA or the DS uh, Metroidvanias. I'm more of like a, a Metroid guy than I am a Castlevania guy, but this game is just too good that I don't care about it. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> back around we go. Yeah, I would say in terms of, like, game... I know yesterday we were talking about games that are must-plays. Uh, this game's a must-play, for sure, for Metroidvanias. It's super fun. Oh my god. And what's even better is you don't even have to be good at the game to start breaking it in half. Like, it's just so easy to annihilate everything in this game. As, <laughs> as such. Am I a huge fan of Metroidvanias? Damn, that sucks. Countless hours of work? Yeah, dude, it's, it's good. Some good shit. I don't think I'm missing a relic. I think the next one's the Spirit Orb in, uh... Yeah, uh, whatever it's called. Marble of Marble Gallery. <laughs> Plus playing this on Duck Station with CPU overclocking makes the makes shit really nice and fast, which is always good. Makes loading quick, I should say. Okay. So for our next relic, which are basically just our power-ups. Really? Whoopsie. Accidentally did a magic spell there. I didn't mean to do that.
Peace moving. What's up, the spear? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to schmoove a little bit, yeah. I mean, Alucard's base running speed is just so slow. Doing good? Good to hear. Oh my gosh. The only thing, I kind of want to do duplicator glitch just for mana prisms. Because it just... It makes things so much easier. Like navigating the castle when you're in luck mode. Because you just have no mana. Wait a moment. I might do it. Why not? We'll try it. My well, thing is, I have a lot of trouble getting up to the fairy card. I think a stopwatch is here. It is. We're going to need for our next boss. Thankfully, we don't have to shield dash forever. You just have to shield dash for like the first part before you get a faster movement option. I can't imagine people who speed run this game like this has got to hurt your hands like so much. Cause I don't know like how like you do it without killing your hands. Cause I use uh I use like my index finger and my secondary finger to shield dash, which I would imagine is not ideal. <sighs> do 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 do. Uh, oh, I need to save. We're good for now. Unless I somehow die during this boss that's not even going to be able to hit us. <laughs> ah, for some reason, the stopwatch, which is an item that freezes enemies, works on this boss. Uh... I think it's only this boss it works on, too. It doesn't work on any of the other bosses, so... That's, uh, kind of nice, I guess. Very strange. Yeah, and everything's dying in one hit because I have the best equipment in the game. Because I skipped uh, the equipment getting taken from me. Elevator's not over. Oh, yes. I'm kind of bored. Thanks for letting me know, man. See you later. I know it's not Sonic. Yes, yes. All right, man. I appreciate you uh, leaving if you're bored rather than being here for no reason. Did I activate the elevator? Oh, I did. I don't know why. I thought the elevator normally started at the top, but I guess it doesn't. Oops, I mean do that. Uh I can we'll tap, jump over here for a life boost. And then we can do a little wolf jump here. Grab this garnet that I'll use for a glitch later. I said that the death skip was gonna be the only glitch I'm doing, I don't think so. Oh, 
Didn't get the garnet. The wolf jumps are really weird. Am I being called? Who's calling me? Uh, brain. I'm going to the Coliseum next, yes. Because I need to get the library card that's there, the shield rod, and the mist form. Yes. I think it's right around the corner. Everywhere in the Netflix series? Wouldn't it have been sick, Rando Logic? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so since we have wolf form, we can do a dive kick. I'm really confused. I don't know why Alucard can dive kick in wolf form. Because it's supposed to be an ability he gets only after the double jump. I guess they left it in for people to figure out, maybe? Or maybe the form just worked better that way. I'm not entirely sure. I'm uh, waiting for this statue to move. There we go. I'm gonna transform into wolf, and then we're gonna do a dive kick off of that uh, little fire there. Very solid fire, I guess. All right. I forgot. I was like really worried because we were in luck mode, but then I remembered I still have the Avalcard equipment, so. Doesn't matter too much. When you were younger? I mean, I guess you can see that you can move the other one with the stopwatch. Or sometimes when you go through the marble gallery, like... It's different. Like, it's different there or something. I am going to save here and try to grind for the Ring of Varda. I'm going to say if we don't get it, we are in luck mode, so I would imagine we'll get it very quickly if we do get it. Or we don't get it in the next uh, six minutes, I'm just going to move on. Uh, which drops from this golden enemy right here. It'll just make stuff go a little bit faster. And we can be a little bit more experimental. Oh, he dropped his 10% drop. We got some grinding to do. Means lots of shield dashing. Yippee. No Varda. Uh, the ring of Varda is also yellow and he's yellow, so it always takes me a second uh, when I kill him to understand. This is also a much higher level area than we are right now. Oh, I used the stopwatch. I was like, why isn't anything moving? Nothing. This really isn't necessary because we're about to break the game in half after all the stuff we collect here, but... Yo, what's up, Rox? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. We're playing one of my favorite games ever, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Currently trying to grind for a really good weapon. We'll see if we actually get it or not. Or not a weapon, a really good uh, item. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was it. I got scammed. The Varda Boost everything to a ridiculous degree. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'll show you the stat boost should we get one. Uh, the boost the rare drops is the Lapis Lazuli, which I think you only get when you start in luck mode. From what I remember. Yo, 
Yo, what's up, Mule? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Fortnite, Fortnite, yippee. I niv the zoomer. Oh, you can farm for the Lapis? Oh, wow. I thought it was uh, exclusive. Yep, the Lapis from Minecraft, even though Lapis Lazuli is literally a real gem. Gem? Mineral? Oh yeah, from Minecraft. Been good, man. How are you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Spring break, I'd say- Oh, we got one. Nice. I'm only gonna get one, because getting two is just overkill. Yeah, but here's our, uh, here's our boost. Our attack power goes from 47 to 72. It's so stupid. It also does increase our luck a little bit as well. Because Alucard has equipment, but he also has base stats, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, I think. He's got Strength, Conjuration, Intelligence, and Luck, which also boosts his stats as well, which you get from, like, leveling things up. I spent kicking my butt. Well, I hope the stream can make your day a little bit better, my man. Unfortunately, I can't do much. Yeah, sorry guys, this is a modded playthrough. You can only get this item from this guy if you're on a replay save. You have to have beaten the game once, so. Uh, same with luck mode as well. Oh well, yeah, the thing is, is like, I know I can't do much. Um, but I just hope the stream can, can make your day a little bit better. That's, uh, always what I aim for. <laughs> Goat, thank you, man. Thank you. All right, I've uh, I've been having things a little bit tough as well on my end. So I get it. The uh, the month and a half of internet if you issues really uh, burned me out quite a bit. <laughs> I gotta be honest. After a while? No, I'm not burned out on PO6 at all. I still speedrun uh, 06. I'm just currently doing a celebration marathon for three years of streaming. You can do exclamation mark 24 uh, if you want to learn more about it. But yeah, no, I, uh, I have never ever felt burned out on PO6 and... After this marathon's over, I am going right back to it with uh, all stories any percent. Also, because you can skip cutscenes and replays, the AI of that boss doesn't load until uh, the cutscene is over, technically. So they just stand there and you can just kill them. It's pretty funny. Yeah, but don't worry, I still do Sonic stuff. <laughs> In fact, we just finished playing Sonic Lost World. Okay. Use that library card. Alright, I am going to use a save state here, I think, just because I want to show this off and it's really easy to die. And I don't even know if there's a, like, a... easy save room. It was, uh, it was this stream, Mule, so. That VOD will probably be up, uh, at the time of this recording on Monday, I think. Okay, so we have to do, uh, not that. That is probably the worst that could have gone. <laughs> Let's try that again. We have jury duty then? Nice. I mean, it's a YouTube video, so you can watch it whenever. Good luck on that, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Won't be hard? That's good. Is there a video out today? A video, in fact, did come out today. 
I recommend joining the Discord and getting the Stelmo Show Enjoyer roll. And the Stelmo 8 and Stelmo 98 Enjoyer roll. That's my pings for both channels. Even if you don't use Discord for chatting and stuff, it's still the best way to uh, keep up with the YouTube videos because YouTube and Twitch pings are super unreliable for whatever reason. Like Beats was showing me, he subscribed to uh, both of the channels and he got like the shadow bio vid uh, like notification yesterday. And it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that video came out like a week ago. Okay, we've got our fairy card, which we're gonna need. In a second here. So when I equip this, this is a this is a familiar. When I equip this familiar, it's gonna say something. And if I walk into this cutscene while it's talking, it allows me to pause during the cutscene. We're gonna do some underflow shenanigans to get infinite money. Your work. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sell. It says I can sell a garnet. I'm gonna equip the garnet. And then sell the garnet, it's gonna underflow my item count. And then I can just sell. I have 255 of them. So, yeah. <laughs> Free money, baby. Might as well go to the max, why not? Oh shit, I don't actually know what the money max count is in this game. There we go. All right, I think uh, I think we're good on cash. All right, we need this. I wanna grab this, this. I'm actually gonna grab a couple of these because I tend to forget things. Um, We've got the Alucard sword, but the flame star is kind of fun. I want that as well. That have it equipped. Um, duplicator. Okay. Farewell for now. Hexadecimal, oh yeah. Okay, so what the duplicator does is it significantly lowers our attack and defenses. The Ring of Varda kind of counter counteracts it. And now we can use one-use items infinitely. Um, so one of the biggest things is the Mana Prism is going to automatically refill our mana, which is real good. But one thing I'm going to do real quickly is I need to equip the Shield Rod and the Alucard Shield. We found the Alucard, or sorry, we found the Shield Rod in uh, the Colosseum. And when you press both buttons at the same time, you get to do a shield spell with whatever shield you have equipped. The shield I have equipped is the Alucard Shield, uh, which you're supposed to find at the end of the game. But uh, when you use the Shield Rod spell, I believe you have a two minute timer that only counts down while the shield is out. And um, it's kind of stupid what it does. Oh, whoops, I fucked this up. But now we got an infinite mana, so I don't uh, really care. I messed this up. There we go. Alrighty. So I'm backdashing without using the uh, without using the shield because I don't want to waste time on the spell. Um, what the Alucard shield is gonna do is we are completely invulnerable while the shield is out. Uh, we heal eight health every time we do damage, and I believe it does. I don't think it's damage every frame, but it's damage every couple frames. It does 255 damage every couple frames, which is kind of nasty. Uh, this is supposed to be a mini boss. And there it goes. <laughs> Pretty broken. Obviously, you're not supposed to have the Alucard shield right now. That's why you can get the shield rod so early into the game. Because the other the other shield spells are actually really good, but they're not uh, they're not Alucard shield good. It's definitely in a class of its own. Alright, I think I can keep the shield spell if I just flip these. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to reactivate it. I want it on this one. No, let's do shield rod here. Gonna do that. Now we have the form of the bat, which means we have our main movement tech for the game. 
Oh, which is gonna be super sick. Nice. So now I can just mana prism, transform into bat, and then do a spell with the bat called a wing smash, uh, which is really fast. And now we can just kind of fly through the castle with uh, out of care in the world. Oh. And since we have the mana prism, we can just uh, infinitely refill our mana and use wing smashes and destroy the game from here on out. Yo, what's up, Neff? Dude, we should play some Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors is real good. Okay, where do I want to go next? I think I want to go get the Gravity Boots and then the Leap Stone, maybe? Is there a good... There's not a good through line there, I don't think. So I think I'm just gonna go through the clock tower to grab the leap stone. And then we're gonna double back to here. No, we don't need to come back here. We're good here, because we've already defeated the boss here and all that. I do wanna grab this warp. Okay. Yeah, but hey, this is one of my favorite games of all time, and uh, it's my first time ever playing it on stream. And uh, we've only had one person bored of it so far, so that's good. At least, it has been explicitly stated. <laughs> that would be, man. Come on. Earth Wing Smashing, this shouldn't be uh, tough at all. Uh, I believe there's another bat relic up here. I think I can do one of these guys just to get up there a little bit faster. Yeah, that's really cool. Also, sick music. Can't please them all, that's for sure. That is for sure. Yeah, things have just kind of... I haven't talked about it much on stream, but things have definitely been a little tough since the month and a half of internet issues. Stream definitely lost some, uh, steam. But, um... Told myself I'm not quitting, so here I still am. I think it'll make me a better streamer in the end anyway. Because I got a lot of time to think about how I like the content to be. I hope people are enjoying the VODs in the 24-hour stream so far. Alright, I am turning this bitch off. I do not want to listen to her. Respectable? Oh, yeah. I would say... I would say people I know probably make fun of me... Oh gosh, I don't want to say once a day, that's way too frequent, but probably like once a week when I see somebody I know in real life or something, they usually make fun of me. They're like, ah, oh, uh, Noah, you don't have a lot of viewers, or like, you've been doing this for three years and, and nothing to show for it and shit like that, but uh, I'm a patient man. I know the only way I can get better is by continuing to do it, and, uh... Well, because, I mean, that's that's the whole thing, right? You know, when someone comes and they're like, I'm going to do this thing. You know, people are worried because it's, like, scary and risky and that kind of stuff. Which is all true. But, I mean, I just love doing this so much that it's uh, it's very difficult to give up on this. Well, teasing, but teasing, but you know it's true, if that makes sense. Imagine you dead in my head, sir. Well, the, uh, one of the coolest quotes I heard is that the best form of revenge is being so successful that all the, the that people can do is compare themselves to you. As you cast a shadow so large over them. And uh, I took that to heart. And... It may not turn out that way. You know, that's the that's the fun part about doing this, is that I don't know if I'm going to be successful in the end, but 
I know that I won't ever be successful if I don't do it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. And a 24-hour stream uh, where I'm playing different games and stuff was a really nice way to kind of get back into streaming every day and stuff. But uh, starting in April, we're gonna be back on the PO6 grind, which is what people watch me for, so. And then hopefully, of course, we get into SGDQ. That would be huge. <sighs> yeah, thank you. I I appreciate it. But yeah, things have definitely been uh been tough for sure. Videos I've been making I haven't been doing as well as I've hoped. You know, classic content creator stuff. I think a video is gonna do super well, and then it turns out that it doesn't. And you're just like, fuck. <laughs> At PAX Eats. He's at PAX East watching GDQ. Oh, the GDQ at PAX East right now. I didn't know that was right now, actually. A thumbnail meta, clearly. Uh, I mean, that's part of it. That's part of making good content, you know? Like, I guess are my thumbnails bad? You can let me know. I will say though, for the, I use the Stelmo show to kind of get my like, I guess shitty kind of funny thumbnails out of my system. So when I'm asking that, I'm more talking about the, uh, the main channel. Cause I still put effort into, into my shitty thumbnails for the Stelmo show, but <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the adventure two one. I thought that one was really funny. At least to me it was. Where am I trying to go? I also forgot to get the warp room. Fuck. Um, I need to take outer wall to entrance, I think. Soyjack, mouth the gaper. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see. Well, I don't make reaction content. I made a reaction video and and I used that in the in the thumbnail. But I don't make reaction content, so I don't uh Oh, the issue. I need to make nice. reaction content. I'm in attendance. The Stelmo show is live and in full effect. Midwest's goat streamer. <laughs> Yo. Goat emoti, goat emoti, goat emoti. Thank you so much, Malik. I really appreciate it, man. I'm I'm happy you think so highly of me. It, uh, you think more highly of me than I do of myself, and it, and it means a lot, dude. Thank you so much for supporting the stream for seven months, getting us ever closer to that lethal company. And, um... Crystal clear. Enjoy that gem and all the emotes that go along with it. Thank you. So much for supporting the stream, dude. Alright, we are here back at the entrance because there's a relic here. I need to grab. Oh, I have Leapstone now. I need to start using that. Leapstone is a uh, double jump. I also need to grab the gravity boots in Marble Gallery. I think I was actually supposed to do that first before using the library card, but whatever. As we're grabbing the power of wolf here, which is gonna turn us into a very fast uh, guy here. Fan, uh, fans of the stream or regulars of the stream might enjoy uh, the speed that comes from this. Oops. Oh no, if I fuck it up. Is your demon time? I don't understand the reference, but I hope you're doing okay, man. Nah, blue gem is more uh is more the second wolf upgrade that you get. This one this one's more of the uh I don't even know. Did I grabbed this already, I did. Damn, what's up, Splur? How you doing, man? Sorry, I forgot to say hello. I saw your first, uh... ...message. Yeah, it seems like a people are going through the ringer right now.
The thing that I think that's awesome, uh, just a cool, like, I guess, mental frame, is it's just like, if you're able to survive it, like, you just become that much stronger because if that shit happens again, you're just gonna be like, all right, this is how I deal with it. Which I think is just super cool because it's true, right? Like, I think about that. Like, you can even, uh, you can even think about that in terms of, like, if you're busy, you're like, fuck, dude, I can't, uh, go to the gym. I'm so busy. And it's like, well, if you go to the gym, if you try to fit the gym into your schedule while you're busy, then it's gonna be a cinch when you're not busy. And then when you get busy again, you know how to still to go, go to the gym even when you're busy. Kind of the example that illustrates it. Just been gone and out of hand. I feel that, dude. I wish you luck. Do I have the... I should. I do. Okay. I'm never going to use that again, but uh, it's good to know that I have it. I really should have gotten the gravity boots before this. This one, the one I'm playing right now. Yo, see you later, Mule. Good luck, man. I know you're going through the ring or two. Appreciate you stopping in, and I hope you, uh... I wish you success. Alright, where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to Marble Gallery to get, um... We get the gravity boots, and then... Are the gravity boots the last relic in the first castle? No, I don't have the fairy scroll. I need to go to the library one more time. Shit, I forgot to grab that. Take my sister get her nails done for prom. Let's go. I mean, I might still be live uh, when you come back, but I guess that takes a... Uh, I guess that uh, takes a while to do. But yeah, this is my uh, this is my favorite Castlevania game. Only Castlevania game I've ever played. Love it, love it to death. It's so fun. I enjoy your lurk, man. Thanks for uh, watching. Appreciate it. And shout out to all the lurkers and VOD watchers right now. Appreciate you uh, having me as part of your daily activities or just spending some time here. Absolutely love streaming. Try to showcase it as much as I can. Showcase my appreciation, I guess. That's probably not a good way to say it. <laughs> right, we gotta go. Oops. This way. That back this way. Yeah, we're gonna use one more library card after doing all of the underground area, so. Uh, we should be good. I just have to remember to grab the fairy scroll. Or else that's gonna be one hell of a backtrack. I also have to remember to grab the demon card that's in the abandoned mine. This music's so good. This game's soundtrack is just fucking nuts. So good. Get the cutscene, yada yada yada. 
See ya. Uh, oh. You live for longer than two seconds. What am I doing? <laughs> Pipe you. All down here. And then I believe I need to go this way. Not this guy. I think I need to go through this door in order to reset the water, so I'm gonna do that. Grab this. I don't really need it that much. Ah, uh, we don't need to go there yet. I can't remember if there's anything to the right. Is this a save room? Save room. Okay. Dude, thank God, whoever... Isn't this a PlayStation game? It sure is. PS1. Uh, well, I guess I should say it originally came out on PS1, and then, uh, it came out on the Xbox 360, and then it's in the Castlevania Requiem collection on the PS4. I also want to showcase this item. This is called the Secret Boots. Uh, when you equip them, Alucard... I can't remember where you equip them. I think it's right here. Discreetly increases height. Alucard literally becomes one pixel taller, I think, while you're wearing them. You can see him shrink there. I'll do it one more time. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> His sprite literally gets stretched. It's so funny. Have you played this game before, Neff? I highly recommend you do if you haven't. That I also like the conveyance they have here. They changed the design of this room to remind you of the room earlier. Oh, that was pretty cool. Actually, I don't even know if you need to ride this guy. I know that the there's two of those and the other one needs a door. Yeah, you don't need this one. So this relic unlocks a ferryman in another location. Because normally, I think intended level order, you're not even supposed to have wolf yet? No, I think you're supposed to have wolf. You're definitely not supposed to have bat. Cards to retro games? Ugh. I guess PS1's pretty retro. I don't- I don't just play retro games, I play good games. <laughs> that's- that's my, uh, quality standard. Just like Sonic Lost World, very quality game. I actually do like it. Though it kicked my ass this time. Explorer, uh, I recommend the Duck Station emulator. Obviously, I have, of course, don't pirate games. I do not condone pirating games. Um, but Duck Station is like literally dolphin emulator, but for PS1. So good. Also, I found out very recently that on the PlayStation 1 version only of this game, if you plug in a second controller and press triangle, I believe, that platform automatically blows up. Kind of interesting. 
All right, that's everything we need to do here. Doom PS1. I have yet to play Doom. I have never played it before. What up, boss? See ya. Okay, I need, um... Yeah, Doom is a, is a series I have not played yet. I feel like those games need to be on my list. I don't really have a long list. In fact, my only list right now is Tears of the Kingdom, now that I think about it. the warp? No. I don't. I need the warp. Well, actually, I just go to the warp. Doom 64? Gotcha. I did not realize that Alucard back or Alucard is Dracula backwards for the longest time. I think I figured it out like maybe like five years after I first played this game. It just never clicked with me. Clicked in my brain, I guess. You near nothing, dude. Doom stream. I think the wolf is actually useful here. Guys, look, it's fast! Oh, just kidding. My bad. Didn't mean to deceive you like that. That's wrong. This room is so strange because there's nothing in it other than the flame. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. And goodbye. All right. Need to equip a library card. First two episodes pretty quickly. Oh, gotcha. Don't need anything else from a friend the librarian. Oh, I should also say, I didn't say this, that uh, the duplicator is also exclusive to New Game Plus. Feels okay, man. What is, what is that emote? Is that like an apathetic emote? I don't remember. Now we get to know the names of all the enemies. Hooray. Ah, I see. Girl, what's up, Mikhail? He a 12-year-old? Whoa, 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 Aniv. Whoa. I don't, should I delete that? I don't think that's okay. <laughs> Auto mod. Come on, man. No, I get you. I should really add more better Twitch TV emotes. I don't have too many, many. I don't have too many. Um, I need to get to the Royal Chapel. I should go this way, though, because I need to go into Ulrox's quarters to get the sword card and the Echo of Bat from him. Yo, what's up, Dr. Boson? How you doing? Dude, you're doing yourself a service playing Symphony of the Night. I recommend... Emulating PS1 on Duck Station or playing the Castlevania Requiem version.
Symphony of the Night is, well, the GOAT. I mean, it did start the surge of all the Metroidvanias. Look like I played this before? Yeah, once or twice. Woo! No, nah, I've never uh, speed ran this before. Also, what's up, Lima? How's it going, man? Welcome, everybody. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. Yeah, 7 TV. I should have both. I'm pretty sure I have both installed on my computer, but I don't have the emotes. I've never speed ran this game. Uh, kind of what turns me off of this game is the shield dashing. This. Like, I feel like my hands would just die. I also went the wrong way. Yeah, I really should have it. For sure. Yeah, it is kind of like wave dashing, isn't it? You actually kind of can wave dash in this game. It's called a front slide. I don't know how to do it, but... Super Metroid wall jumps? I'd say a last time I played, I was pretty good at it. I'm going to the Royal Chapel. Okay, brain's there. Oh shit, I needed to go to Ulrox's quarters. That's what I forgot. I was like, Alchemical Laboratory? That's not the right way. I need to go through the Coliseum. Or through Ulrox's quarters, actually. I think there's a connection. Because I know you can get to the Royal Chapel from the reverse side. I don't know. This part I always fuck up. Because there's like a couple different places you need to go and grab things, and I just forget where, uh, how to route it properly. Because, uh, like, I've seen speedruns, but I don't know them by heart or anything. You've never noticed the shelf of consoles behind me? That's kind of impressive, honestly. I mean, I suppose if you're watching on mobile, it's kind of small, but... Um... I usually skip, uh, all rocks on my playthroughs, but I am trying to do all bosses so that this game is takes a somewhat amount of time. Never staring at me for too long? I find that interesting because I feel like with the streamers I watch, I guess maybe it's because I watch a couple like speedrunning stuff or maybe more grindy streams. I'm usually looking at the webcam a lot. That's why I'm trying really hard to become attractive, because, uh, yeah, I, uh, would rather have people stare at someone attractive than unattractive. Getting there, unfortunately, is one of those stupid things that, uh, take time. Non-face cam? Gotcha. I always like the face cam because it makes it feel like more of a conversation. And you also get to see my reactions to stuff, so. I've always considered it the better method, but I know there are a lot of people, like for Borderlands 2, Jolt's dude, super successful non-face cam. Adds a little bit of identity to the stream, too, I think. Sub goal to remove hat? You drop 20 subs right now, I'll take the hat off for the rest of the stream. It's counting toward the Lethal Company goal. In fact, we'll get really close to it. You know what? I'll say that right now. 28 subs. 28 subs, I'll take the hat off. Hey, you asked, man. I'm just telling you the price. Bye, boss. Bye, boss.
I know, dude, it's so annoying. It's like there's all these people that are literally billionaires watching the stream. And they're not giving me any of it. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's only five dollars. Come on. I also went and got the sword card first, which was just a waste of time because I have to go that way anyway. Talking about it legit though, Neff. Not a not a great move. My uh <laughs> my uh my audience is uh right in that age range of very poor. <laughs> Cause it's like high school, college age students. So from a business perspective, not a great audience, but can't choose my audience. I just like to have fun. Plus you guys choosing to watch ads, well, that's free. Okay. Uh, this is sort of a skip. I was supposed to grab an item called the Spike Breaker to break these spikes in the catacomb, but I didn't. But uh, a very nice thing is that using a Mana Prism or an Elixir or any sort of potion item gives us invincibility frames. So I'm just gonna click that, give us invincibility frames, and we'll just walk through the door. I would go as well. I wish you luck, man. Uh, do I want library card? Have I gotten everything? Door card, back card, ghost card, demon card. Those are the rings of Vlad. Power of Mist. Force of the Echo. I'm missing this one. What is this one? Hold up, I gotta look this up before I freak out. Oh, shit! <laughs> I forgot to... Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. I forgot to go ride the second ferry in the um, underground caverns. I got too distracted with going straight to the catacombs. Poop! Well, we're going to have to make another detour. It's almost like this game was made for the PS1. Yo, what's up, Teal? It is very much... It's not even close to my birthday right now. Birthday's in August, man. What you talking about? Nice to see you, dude. August 12, 1999 is not my birthday. I've already I've already told you guys that even if you say the correct date, I will still tell you it's not my birthday. And if you ask it's the correct date, I will also tell you it's not the correct date, even if it is. The only way you'll know is, well, maybe with a thousand subs uh, during this marathon. Got ways to go. 20 months and it's not going through? Wait, for real? The important thing is, did you resubscribe, Teal? Like, does it count as you resubscribing? I know, obviously, it being uh, announced is very important as well, but I want to make sure it's actually gone through. Well, I mean, you have a 1 in 31 chance of being correct. You just uh, won't ever know if you are correct or not. Anniversary coming soon. Let's go. I am streaming tomorrow. Yeah, I will. I will post in the discord as I always do. Uh, we're going to be starting at noon mine time tomorrow, and I'm just going to be streaming PO6 all stories any percent until I get tired. Basically it. Soul steel. Wait, you need to do two soul steals on this? Come on. Been through my bank. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for the 20 months of support, dude. I really appreciate you. Enjoy that gem and all the emotes that go along with it. And thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Been a while. How you been? Dark 
starting when? Noon CST. So, three hours before I normally start right now. Because I gotta wake up, take care of Bonzo, go to the gym. The measly? Dude, measly? The fuck you talking about, bro? That ain't no measly thing anyway. The fact that people support me monetarily at all is crazy because I provide this content for free. I really, really appreciate it. Odin on Unity? Yo, let's go. Oh my god, these bats are destroying me right now. Alright, so way back in the underground caverns the first time, we got a uh, relic called the Birdman statue that spawned that fairy... Uh, Fairy person and the holy symbol there makes us immune to water because I guess vampires are allergic to water or something. 12 days? Dang, that's going to be just after the marathon's over, too. Okay, now we have every relic. Except for the two in the next castle. Well, I guess the seven, technically, yes. And we fought every boss. No, we have not fought every boss. I need to go back to the royal chapel. Fuck, dude. <laughs> There's so much to keep track of in this game. I forgot because I think the speed run goes from the castle keep to the royal chapel. This is driving in circles. It's true, dude. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what I think I'll do is that next time we have sub goals, I'll just take all the sub goals we didn't meet and then move them up. Just lie to your bank? That might be the smartest bit of advice I've ever heard. We could get to the castle keep really easily if I, you know, remembered to grab the warp point, but I didn't, so back through the clock tower we go. Not that it's that big a deal, and this time we have gravity boots, but still very annoying. Well, the crazy thing is that you guys will have a whole extra day for the sub goals. Uh, because I imagine we're probably going to get five or six hours stream tomorrow. So, like, last Saturday and this Saturday, you got, like, 12 extra hours of, uh, opportunity. Because it doesn't count as part of the marathon. Dude, he sure is. You're snagging through it? Well, that's because I have this beautiful thing called invincibility frames and probably like a hundred hours in this game. Both of those combined make things a lot easier. Alright, I don't actually need this warp because we just have to hit the griffin and I think that's the last boss. Let me check. Yes. Alchemical Laboratory, Outer Wall, Coliseum, Long Library, Asuman, uh, Clock Tower, Underground, Catacombs. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the last boss. Oh, that's awesome, because I thought, I thought it, that's one of my favorite songs in this game. I always thought it sounded out of tune. I assumed it was like a, 
It was just like the 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 PS1 chip messing up, but that's actually super funny. I had no idea. Was that said in like an interview or something? I'm very curious. All right, here's our boss. And see ya. Mirror insects, it's what happens when you cheat. The beautiful thing. I'm a wolf this. Fun part right here. Whoa. <laughs> I guess the castle keep warp wasn't necessary at all. Well, whatever. Thankfully, second castle is not going to take nearly as long as uh, this one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, I am forgetting everything right now. Actually, the castle keep warp will be very good. I forgot one very, very, very crucial thing. I'm glad I didn't walk in because I haven't saved in a while. Yo, what's up, Chaos? Dude, I finished that shit. I finished that shit like uh, an hour and 18 minutes ago. What's up, man? I'm forgetting things all over the place. Yeah, I'm sorry you you missed all your uh, your chances to shit on it some more. <laughs> Made in the cord, that's awesome. How was it for you? I like it. It was a lot harder than I remembered, but like I always talk about, I am a naturally bad gamer. So like. Take my opinion for what you will. I still like, I liked the game. Or like, I, okay, I had fun. That's, that's my, that's my, um, my opinion is I had fun. Except for a few levels were frustrating. The final level was very frustrating. The final level, I should say the final level of Silent Forest and the final level of Lava Mountain, both frustrating. Don't like them. The rest of the game was fine though. That is all. The gold ring. Ring. Oh, can't skip this cutscene. Yeah, I know, I know. A Niv dies of cringe, dude. Classic. I do need to install 7D uh, TV so we can see that. I can actually do it right now. Probably. Hopefully I don't have to... I probably have to reload chat, so I'm gonna do that real quick. To configure anything. Earth. Wow. I didn't want to do that. Shit. Whatever, it's fine. You're all set. Thanks. Yes, getting the bad ending is a speedrun category. I don't think anybody runs it, though, from what I know. All right, there's currently nobody in my chat room. 
chest. Okay, it's still there. Good. Uh, let me refresh the chat box. All right, you can try some seven TV emotes and let's see if uh, shit works. Yo, what's up, Beats? How you doing, man? Oh, let me save. Oh, it worked in my chat, but it didn't work on stream. Hold on, let me, uh, let me go to Streamlabs real quick. And so you have seven TVs enabled. It might just take a second. Surprise. I'm seeing them. I don't think they're appearing on screen, though. The fuck? A, a green box? Okay. <laughs> No, not chat highlight. Chat box. Here's chat box. Chat box. Oh, my custom CSS still there? Looks like it is. Enable 7TTV emote. Copy. This is a different... Oh, it's not a different link. Okay, we'll give it one more refresh. Fresh. Okay. If it doesn't work now, it's probably just going to take a minute before it starts working again. Or before it starts working. Whatever. Oh, what is this? I got a new button. Whatever. <laughs> I can see them. 7TV is another, uh... It's another extension, like, uh, Twitch... TV. Okay. Now we can leave because we have the holy glasses, which I'm going to equip right now so I don't forget. And also re equip the duplicator and the ring of Varda. Okay. Good to go. <laughs> I see God. I see it now. A Mega Man one? No, Symphony of the Night is incredibly easy. I've also played this game quite a quite a hell of a lot. I love it. ADV is a pain in the ass. Sure is. For layering over other emotes? I'm not sure what you mean. Moonwalking is the strat. Uh, it's called shield dashing. Gosh. No, the ZX games are nothing. The ZX games would have been much better if they just continued with the standard Mega Man formula, but they committed to the Metroidvania for both of those games. I still like ZX and ZX Advent, but... I do really want to give 0, 2, 3, and 4 another, another try, and honestly, if I get good at those games, I'll probably play 0, 1 as well. Shield dashing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's cool. So that's why you- so you can pet any emo. I see. So you could like- you could pet Bonzo now, then. Well, you can't see it on a- on screen right now. I imagine I'll probably have to restart OBS in order for it to appear. Whatever. 
Switch. I am a fan of Paper Mario, the first two anyway. I'm very excited for the remake that's coming in May, stream it. Should money be good? Yeah, let's go, Neff. I've never, uh, I've never actually beaten Thousand Year Door. Uh, I've gotten to the Shadow Palace and I couldn't beat the final boss. What? That's fine. All right, time for where, uh, getting excited for Pokemon. I'm very excited to play Crystal Clear on stream if we make it to 200 subs. The one I keep pushing for, because it'll be so fun. I was able to get it on my phone and... Mm. Yo, was that Glizdorf driving a car? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, what a shame. The people on the VOD won't be able to see it. Okay. All right, now what we have to do is we're just going to go to all the boss locations um, that were in uh, that were in the first castle. We just have to visit all of those locations, and then uh, then we're good. Then we'll beat the game. We might actually beat this game with a little bit of time left, so I may do a gravity circuit 100%. It's been so long since I've uh, played gravity circuit; it'd be kind of fun to do that, maybe. Like the upside down? No. Well, like, it's fine now, because I know how to move better in this game. Uh, I added 7TV, which adds another set of emotes, Volt. You're probably seeing, uh, seeing the screen, like, how it is on screen right now. Oh, hello. So what you're what you're supposed to do if you've never seen this before, so uh we did a couple things to get an item called the Holy Glasses in the first castle to find out that Richter, the dude who we played at as the prologue, was actually being possessed. Um and a priest named Shaft reawakens Dracula and uh is in this reverse castle. And what we have to do is there are five specific bosses um we have to fight. Actually, shouldn't have gone this way. There are five bosses you have to fight that drop different pieces of Dracula. Um, so you only need to beat those five, but I'm going to try to beat every boss as well as collect uh, the two relics we have left. Because all, all of the relics except for two are in the first castle, so. Uh, nope, this was wrong. Ayo Oni? I... This is not what you're talking about, but I do really want to play the Ori games. Uh, Ori in the Blind Forest and Will of the Wisp. Are they more like Metroid or are they more like Hollow Knight? The Ori games. Yo, Stummo Bros driving a car. <laughs> Yo, Big Glizdorf, what's up, Philip? How you doing, bro? Oh shit. Uh, this is Medusa, so I guess it makes sense. I'd say it's similar to both. Well, the thing is, is I don't really like Hollow Knight's difficulty. Because <laughs> I'm a, I'm a piss-poor gamer. Celebrating with my friends? Dude, are you trashed right now? Ori is easier? Okay, that's good. For me, anyway. Maybe I'll get into Hollow Knight at some point. I think what I need to do is do a dedicated backseating stream of Hollow Knight. And let people backseat me through the game. And then I'll understand it. Because I've always enjoyed Metroidvanias more when I know what I'm doing. Except for Dread. I loved the first experience of Dread, except fuck Ravenbeak. Oh god. Uh, this is a little scary, but I did buy elixirs. I'll um, pop one of those real quick. Uh, 
I think the way to the Colosseum is through here. Viral Knights, never heard of it. Just a little breezy. Oh, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Dude, Ravenbeak is an experience the first time. Well, I mean, like, it's also that, you know, like, Adam, Adam gasses up Ravenbeak is such a chad throughout the whole game that it makes sense. Also, looks what they, look what they learned in the effects department today. This dude has the longest death animation in the game. I love that people watching the VOD will have no context. Alright, I think... No, this is wrong. For some reason, I thought Force of the Echo was here, but it's not. Heck yeah! Heck yeah, Niv. I agree. That was one of the... wired bosses. This is Duck Station emulating PS1. This game is available on PS1, the Sega Saturn in Japanese, uh, Xbox 360, and like the Xbox Live Arcade, um, and PlayStation 4. I definitely recommend the PlayStation 4 version as the easiest to access. Plus, you get a second game with it. Whoops, I don't need that. I already have that item. Where am I? Where do I need to be going? I think I need to be going this way. Yes. Heck no! What do you mean? Why is Glizdor huge? That's a good question. I don't know why he's big. I think it's maybe because my chat is bigger? I don't know. Uh, that's a warp. I don't need it. Maybe they increase the, uh, the size of, of emotes or something. Huge part of our life now. We are going to be grinding PO6 tomorrow, so we are going to need a lot of Glizznorps for sure. I need to go to Coliseum. Oh boy, there's a bunch of seven TV settings that I'm gonna have to change because I just got fucking notified. Slorp Glorpin. Yeah, uh, that's a command. I will be shocked if there's someone in chat that knows who uh, these guys are or what they're from. What? How'd you know? I refuse to believe that. You looked it up. 347 a month? That is way out of my price range, Niv. Also, right now, I'm super underleveled for this area and will die in like three hits. Uh, I'm just basically abusing invincibility frames and uh, commands and shit. Uh, commands. Invincibility frames and, uh... Items and stuff. Just don't die? What do you think I'm doing? Just in my head? In my head, I see... Werewolves are reptilian? Why? Because they're green? Whoa, with 7 TV, when someone at somebody, it uses their chat color. That's kind of cool. It's 
scariest enemies in the game right here. These guys could do a shit ton of damage to me. They also give the most experience. I'm trying to think, is there a boss in the reverse library? I don't think so. Yeah, I think you just fly through that room. And obviously you got the shmoo for the chrysogrim. Um, do I want to go to catacombs now? This is just wrong. I need to not be going this way. There are different colors because this game does the thing where it reuses enemies but changes their uh, color palette to show that they're like harder. Yeah, I know. Beelzebub is, uh... He's in the laboratory. Get me out of here. God, Alucard. What are you doing, bro? I'm gonna switch to Elixir again, just in case. Right, this part's actually a very scary part to move through when you're in luck mode because you just don't have any defense. And these dudes have the wiener lasers that do like a bajillion damage. I'm not kidding, by the way, either. I mean, look at that thing. That's a wiener laser. Boobies? Uh, you already missed the succubus, so... Aim on you for that one. It's sprites. It's fine. All right, I'm just gonna do this now. Time to Google. Oh God. Oh my lord. Didn't know this chat was full of a bunch of horn dogs. I also don't have to stopwatch this time. Not like this guy's gonna pose much more of a challenge. What? I agree. What is going on? We can only take one hit? That's fine, we only needed three. Thank you. It's gonna be such a shame in the Vada this if I actually uh, miss the boss. Who's ever watching random Sonic streamer play Symphony of the Night? <laughs> Gonna be real upset, and I apologize. And this game doesn't need a game shark, it's so broken. Like Gen 1. Oh, is this the right way? No, this is not the right way. I need to go the other direction. And one green, red and green. Oh, God. I was always so confused why they made fire red and leaf green. Even though blue was the nationalized version or internationalized version of the game. Oh, is it 2026, I think? See, this is why the streamer has to be attractive. <laughs> also, the wolf can swim if you have the skill of wolf. Fun fact. You can't do it naturally, you have to get an upgrade for it. Welcome to filler item. 
Uh, this is called the Force of the Echo. So I didn't show it off, but the bat has this echo which can show dark rooms, but there's only one dark room in the game. Actually, there's two because there's one in the reverse castle as well. Actually, no, it's only dark in the regular castle. So there's only one dark room in the game. And when you pick up that relic, that thing does damage, but it does a shit amount of damage. And you can already pick up another relic called Fire a Bat, which also does a shitty amount of damage, but it's projectile the bat can throw, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, considering your Twitter profile picture, Chaos, I'd, I'd figure you'd say as such. Okay, now we can go to the catacombs and fight Gallimoth, the super boss, who's, uh... Yeah, he's the super boss, all right. Oh, yapping about? Is it not a succubus? It looks like it. I mean, I don't know who the character is. I definitely get succubus vibes from it, though. Like, literally, like, from this game. Like, your profile picture looks like it from that game. Oh, I see. Yo, what up, Death? Oh shit, I only have 25 health. I'm not worried. Oops! Dead. Whoopsie daisy, killed you on accident, my bad. Anyway. All, all a rune? I don't know what that means. Venus weed sounds like a strain a uh, dispensary sells. Uh. They literally, it's the only thing that sucks about this game is they literally padded it out at the end. The reverse castle is so cumbersome to go through. I also thought the game just crashed and that would have sucked. Also best music track ever. Thank goodness, <laughs> our ears get a second. The second castle also only has, I believe, three new music tracks, and they aren't really that good in, uh, comparatively to the first castle's music. Every area in the first castle has uh, different music, and it's all really good. Floppy seconds, though, for uh, second castle. This is not the right way. Um. Oh my god. Can you stop? What is going on? That spell lasted so long. Oh, yep, this is the correct way. Get ready for some trippy visuals, by the way, chat. Oops. Uh, I think this is 
just yeah. All right, super boss time. That's the super boss. <laughs> I love this game, man. I've legitimately fought that guy one time and it was terrible. So. Thank Christ for the Alucard shield, for real. And our reward for beating the super boss is the mist power now does damage. Hell yeah, not even good damage. Troll the shit out of you for that. Alright, all I think we have left. We have all of these. We do. I think all we have left is... Yeah, Beelzebub, Frankenstein's monster, Shaft, and Dracula, and then we're done. Oh, we need to get to the alchemical laboratory. Which is probably going to take a while to get to from here. I wonder if they gave the bat this wing smash spell. I wonder if they gave this to the bat just for the second castle because it's so cumbersome to traverse without it. Whoa! That showed up! Oh uh, no, that was a... Uh, that's a channel emote, my bad. Oh yeah, that's right, this track is borrowed from the first castle as well. I like this tracks, but of all the tracks, like, come on. This one? Yo, what's up, SQ? How you doing, man? Good to hear, bro. Just playing some Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of my favorite games. Having a blast with it. Uh, vampires. Macho dudes with whips, uh, killing vampires. The general gist. This one we play as the vampire, though. go alchemical laboratory first to get rid of beals above and then we are going to go to the outer wall and that should be everything because i think shaft counts uh if i miss something uh, i apologize deeply to the folks who watch the vod alucard's got the worst daddy issues of all <laughs> Um, what's this way again? Let's save him. Oops. 
trying to ride the slope, but that's all right. This is not the right way. Uh, I went too far down. It's been so long since I've actually fought Beelzebub that I am literally trying to think of the castle in the normal form. To remember where I'm going. Uh, this is correct. Yay, the same music track we heard in the last room. Nice. Oh. All right, this is our last boss before the end. Or er, no, not true, we have to go to the outer wall. Stop it. That looks tasty, huh? Oh, it's these worms. Oh my god. I can't hit this guy to save my life. There we go. Please, gravity jump. Thank you. I don't know how I killed him, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't know how he died. Doesn't matter. What you do? Think of vampire survivors? Yeah, I wonder why. Fathom a guess. Oh yeah, that's right. It's like these really weird looking butterflies. Vampire Survivors actually is a good example of like uh, how we were actually talking about in Sonic Lost World that like it's just a Mario game, but like it doesn't, it's not bad because it's like a Mario guy game. It's bad because it does what a Mario game does. It just does it poorly. Vampire Survivors steals, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't steal. They are technically like their own graphics, but they're very very, very heavily inspired by Castlevania, but Vampire Survivors is a good game, so people care less. At least from my experience. So if you steal, do it well. Moral of the story. What's up, Bonzo? Can I help you? Would die for Lost World? I guess. a weird way to interpret that statement, but if that's how you hear it, that's how you hear it. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Bet you weren't expecting that reaction, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Also with this, you restore hearts, which you use for your sub-weapons, but your sub-weapons aren't... Of, like, all the things Alucard can do, the sub-weapons are not that good. Should have been the last boss. 
It is. We got all the Dracula parts. Let's go win the game. And then we're going to have 45 minutes to do something. Oh, I'm going to take a quick break because I have to go to the bathroom, but... Finally, I complete a whole game in one stream. It's been so long. The VODs will finally make sense. Two hours seems good. A speed run for this is like, uh, 45 minutes? So... Nice and close. This right, this right. Whoop. I really should be misbatting more often. Misbatting is when you quickly go into misform and then back in the bat like that. The faster transition. Oh. I guess I'm in bat form. <laughs> I didn't mean to be. Also, something funny about this clock is that the Roman numeral for four is wrong. Right here. Wow, we're gonna finish this, like, right at, uh, two hours. That's a nice, uh, nice chunk. Chunk of gaming. I do just beat games fast because I'm so good. Oops, there goes that boss. Dracula time, baby. Also, that's the only room in the entire game that's oriented properly in the reverse castle. Like, oriented to be upright. Kind of cool. Even though the entirety of the reverse castle kind of sucks. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs! Here he comes! Oh, wait. And there it is! Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I will leave you guys with the final cutscene. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. I also have to how, how is it uh, check my phone. So, quick BRB, folks. You have been